Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. We are still in the room of requirement. I filled up all the potions. Well, I gotta fill up this one still. And I need some more Venomous Spectacular. They take a lot. Oh, the Felix Felicit thing too. We need more of those. I don't have many of those to uh, make though. But I did some changes in the room. Added a nice big hippograph statue. I got some pumpkins that seem to be floating. Well, kind of floating. Uh, no, I already peeled that one so it has some time to go. We have something new in here to look at. Is it in here? Uh, no, it's not in this one. Sorry. Wrong vivarium. There's now four of them. Uh, the one we want is up here. Yes, this one. Give it a second for the animals to load in. And where is it? There it is. We have a baby unicorn. It's golden. Hold on, let me, uh, we have to, oh, well, we don't have the thing on here anymore. That's no good. Uh, I took those off. Uh, we want to, feed the baby. Give it a little brush. And now we're gonna rename it. What what are you? You're a female. Well, you're a female and you're a gold unicorn, so I'm gonna call you Goldie. I better get rid of the unicorn part first. That makes it a lot easy. Easier. Goldie. You're not Goldie. You're Goldie. Look <laughs> at cow wing. Oh, you're so cute. Little Neasles, Baby Neasel. Why won't you let me collect your fur? It says 24 minutes, but... Okay, now it says collected. These unicorns are very friendly. Uh, so every vivarium we have is full. Oh, look at the little... Hey, how come you don't have your name? Why don't you have your name? I changed your name, even confirmed it. What happened? B 
beep, 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 beep. Confirmed. Okay. It's Goldie. Keep your name as Goldie. There you go. And you are... You're a female. Okay. Apparently male unicorns are rare. So every vivarium has 12 animals in it. I had to put some moon calves in the other one. In the uh, swampy one. And... Do we have any other babies I have to show you? We saw the... Oh, I put a cottage here. See, I have moon calves and the toads. I showed you the baby toad. Yeah, there's baby toad, mauve. Uh, well, everything else is in here, so I put two moon calves in here. The, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the brown one and the black and white one. Just so. <laughs> Let's turn that thing off. It's driving me up the wall. It's way down here. This thing. Keeps showing up everywhere. Okay. And yeah, I put a cottage in there. I showed you that. Uh, did I put anything in the new thing up here? Don't think so. Oh, yeah, I did. I put a statue. Actually, I think, it, yeah, it's a fountain. Enchanted Founding. And I put some unicorns in here too. And some Neasles in here. And some Fufus. Just so the Phoenix wouldn't be by themselves. Because there was no other beast to collect. We don't apparently get a Graphorn, sadly. I got a tent. Which actually I can go in the tent. Can the animals go in the tent? I don't know. They should be able to. So we got, come back here, you. Mr. Phoenix. So. That's all of, oh no, this one's not filled. I save in a spot in case we get a female phoenix. And if we get, hmm. If we get a female phoenix, maybe I'll take a unicorn out. Or I can take a, ne I'll take a neasel out. Yeah. If I get a female phoenix, I'll take a easel out and then we can breed the phoenix. Look at this guy. It's like lime green with some yellow on it. He's cute. I like him. So we need to return to Professor Garlic. Because we finished... Uh, stuff is loaded in quite slow now. Did I show you what I did uh, over here? Wait. Before we do that, it's not over there. It's over this way. Let me get this stuff. And 
This is... yeah. We don't use these very often. So... Is the plant ready? We got 12 of those. I want to see if we can get 12 of these. You ready yet? Almost. A minute. Okay, so we'll grab that on the way out. We got 12 Wigan Weld already. So I put a nice big table here. Lots of books. Looks very cool. There's a desk. The quill that writes itself. That's kind of cool. Got lots of ingredients. Uh, we're full up on mandrakes. We're full on chopping cabbage. Yeah. Doesn't seem to be. Uh, yeah, we only got just this thing. One focus and three felixi thing or whatever it's called. I put some stuff on the the walls here. We got a nice statue of a fufu. Put out a new couch. Unfortunately, you can't sit on the couch, though. We have a phoenix statue. A deer call. A nasal statue, niffler statue, and some armor. And there's something else I put in here. Ah, yes. A Ravenclaw banner and a herbology trophy. <laughs> I didn't win the herbology trophy, but... Uh, with all the stuff that I'm learning and growing in here, I'm sure I could, no problem. I think that was everything that I changed. Another banner. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else I changed. So let's go to Professor Garlic. Where's Professor Garlic is Hibology, right? So, yeah, Professor Garlic should be down here. Can I just travel there? What, what are you doing? You got to click on it. Um, yeah, I can go here. There's two quests here. Beating a curse. Oh. Looks like we're going to help a student beat a curse. That sounds interesting. Hello. Oh, it's you. Just the person I need. Why are you yelling? Who's this guy? Give me the side eye, kid. My brother's doing well, thanks to you. And he listens to me now. Turns out having beats for feet teaches a memorable lesson. Okay, I don't know. Don't remember helping your brother, but okay. Samantha, is everything all right? No, no, it's not. It's my brother William. The one I told you about after charms class. He's He's been cursed. He ignored my warning and now he's lying in St. Mungo's looking completely pathetic. He simply never listens. I'm sorry, how exactly has he been cursed? Oh, you won't believe it. Truly, but his feet were turned into purple beets. You can imagine his distress. And mine. I won't even go into the attention he was getting from our garden rabbits before he moved <laughs> to the hospital. Yeah, don't say it's hilarious, Taro. I'm so sorry. That sounds like a trying situation. I'm glad you understand. Everyone else just laughs at me as if it's a joke. No compassion at all. Well, it is an unusual situation. How did your brother end up like this? It's entirely his own fault. I told him about some research I'd done recently on our ancestor Marmaduke Dale. In particular, my discovery that Marmaduke's tomb was cursed. My brother's always making fun of my discoveries. This time, he laughed in my face told me I'd misinterpreted my findings. As if that weren't possible. And to prove his point, he went right up to the entrance of the tomb, and poof! His feet transfigured into beets. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, 
how awful. I can see why you're upset. He definitely needs some help. Exactly. He may be a cape flapper, but he's still my brother. And no one deserves such a fate to last forever. Especially as the result of a single brainless mistake. Now I worry that if the curse isn't reversed, it could become permanent. Can't the curse be broken? Possibly. The curse stems from a crest that was stolen from Marmaduke. If the crest were returned to its rightful place upon his sarcophagus, then I believe that William's feet may be restored. You battled trolls when they attacked Hogsmeade, escaped a dragon, and I could tell by your work and charms that you're a skilled spellcaster. Returning a crest to a sarcophagus should be almost effortless for you. So, will you help us? Did you steal the crest? Why was Mom Duke's tomb cursed? The curse is the result of an intense sibling rivalry between Granum Dale and his younger brother Marmaduke. Marmaduke was a famed herbologist, and Granum resented the attention that he received. Sibling rivalry? Sounds as if it might run in the family. <laughs> but they never intentionally curse my brother, not like Granum did. When their mother died, Marmaduke was given the prized family crest. Granum felt that as the eldest child, he should have been given it. Years later, when Marmaduke died, Granum stole it and cursed the tomb so that none in the Dale family could ever pay their respects. Hmm. How do you know it's safe? I don't want my feet to turn into beets as well. Oh, but the curse only applies to Marmaduke's descendants, as my brother so aptly demonstrated. That's why I need your help. You're unrelated to my family, so the curse wouldn't affect you. Why is your ancestor so well known? He discovered the properties of several magical herbs and plants. He also uncovered numerous types of flora. The wizarding world owes him a great debt. His work not only impacted the discipline of herbology, but also potion making. Mm. Okay, we gotta raid one brother tomb and bring the crest to another. I can take the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You'll simply go into the tomb where Marmaduke was laid to rest and place the crest on top of his sarcophagus. According where is the mother, crest? The tomb's been abandoned for centuries, so it should be a fairly simple task. You'll find it just east of the hamlet of Brockborough. Thank you for your help. My family is indebted to you. Oh, you're giving me the crest. Okay. I thought I have to go... Um Read your other uncle's um, tomb. Okay, you're not the one I want. I want the other the other quest. I want this quest, so I can get Flipendo. That's the one I want. Sure, you can eat it if you can keep it from chomping on you long enough to chop it up. How do you get in here? Ah, went in the wrong way. Do you have uh, plants that I can harvest? Nice hat, nice water trough. Finish the activities you assigned me, Professor Garlic. Wonderful. I hope you gained a greater appreciation for the flora in our lives. I am forever enraptured by it. Just yesterday, I spent hours pruning my self-fertilizing shrubs and flutterby bushes. Didn't realize how long I'd been at it until the sun began to set. Well, if there's one thing I love to see more than my plants thriving, it's one of my students doing the same. Now, ready to learn flipendo? Chin up, keep a light grip, and it's all in the wrist. Let's see you give it a go. You will want to focus with this spell. Nothing is mortifying as knocking back a okay. cork. All you wanted to do was move a few parts. Flipendo. to practice a bit more you're welcome to do so here in the greenhouse just mind the plants please 
Okay, where shall we put... Oh, not there. What are you doing? That's where Levioso goes. We're gonna put Flapendo in here. Uh, what was these other two? Got the two curses here with those ones. These are can use a lot of catching beasts. So what do we oh we need the repair and the Loomis one. Actually I have the repair the Loomis and then the invisible one, disillusionment. Yeah, we can pull out Repero when we need it. We don't need it that often. Now, let's try Flipendo on you. We knockback Jinx Flipendo is like Accio. Accio. It's a four spell capable of dispelling violent charms by flipping targets upside down. Can we do this? And then this, and then this. Was I? Oh, yes, the greenhouse won't keep itself in order without a nudge from me. That's pretty cool. Cool. Um, that's a cool down thing. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> okay. Was there any? Ooh, ooh. Can we take this plant? Oh. <gasps> No way. How many do I have? Nine. Whoa, that's a big one. Eleven. Didn't know these were in here. I think we can't take this one. Yeah, we're full. Get out of the plants, you. I didn't know you could come in here and take these. We've been in here before. Did we take them before? I don't remember. Look, there's two more in here. Okay, we'll have to remember that and come back. Go check the other side. Maybe there's some on the other side to take. Anything up here? You two seem to be conspiring and up to something. Have we ever gone up here? He must have. Yeah, we have. Okay. No. What the? What's going on in here? Oh, this is where I just came from. <laughs> I want to go to the other side. Yeah, I'm going to this side.
What was that growling noise? Some bamboo. Nope, nothing to collect. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. It is, it's very handy. Okay, so we'll go save this guy's uh, basis for blackmail uh, oh yeah poppy I have to talk to poppy how many moons do we have why does it say two and three we already got two I want number three here it is beating a curse where is this tomb at Buy a new, um, a uh, new barrow, it said. What was the place called? Brock Burrow. Okay, well, there's a demiguy statue in there, so that's good. So we'll go here. I'm going to go east to Brock Burrow. And save this guy's feet beat. Or his beat feet. <laughs> There's a... Are you the enemy? You look drunk. Oh no, the wolf is the enemy. Let's flip him. Wee. Oops. Oh, oh. What? Will you go away? <laughs> A giant itch. I don't have the thing here. Can I just whoops? High wing, go. Okay, you can stop now. It's not coming after us anymore. I don't have the pulso anymore. I thought I did. Oh, I see. I got two of those. That's why. I want that. Okay, that's better. Now I can flip them. Or not flip them. I can stop his charge with the pulse soap. Wait. Is he up here now? Hello, Mr. Dark Mongrel. I gave me attack only me and not those people. There you are. Okay, charge. Go on. Darn it. Gotta run away until it's charged. Ah! It didn't... Ugh. Run. Okay, it's charged now. Come on, charge me. Stand off. There we go. <laughs> oh, there's crazy. We need four more dual feet. Now we're going this way.
How come you people can walk around safe and everything attacks me? Well, technically I attack everything too, so it doesn't matter. Another dark mongrel. Good for you. Ten seconds? Experience. No problem. That one was easy to do. Where am I going? Get back on the road. What are you doing? This, I think this road was changing. Okay, we seem to be going into a spiders. Ignite what? Ignite a shooter? Is that other one a shooter? No. Ah gotta hit it when it prepares to attack. There we go. Two more dueling feats. I'm kind of surprised I'm doing so well in this game. What the heck was that? There's all these strange... Um... Strange sounds like... Like there's uh, something coming in here. Like they're aspirating in or something. Uh, what's it say? Keenbridge? Hit a flaming spider to blow it up. No, the flaming one! Defeated all the spiders, but wait, 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 wait. Here we go. Ooh. Is that a uh, what's it called? Dog bog. It is. I need to. Defeat one of you. Slice it? Oh no, no, no. It has to be dangling. Come on, stick your tongue out. Why won't you stick your tongue out? Oh wait, I can't... Can't use my magic in the water. Ow! Got stuck in the tree. Come on, stick your tongue out. Did that not uh, do it right? Just Whoa, he was up in the air a long time. Defeated all the dog bugs. Dug bogs. I can never save them right. Dug bogs. Gear trait reward and femial Ephibial <laughs> protection. Oh my god. We have oh, you get this one too. Yeah, we got all the spiders. Anti Venom 3. Nice. We gotta defeat some trolls. Oh. Did all the dually ones. Demi guy's mask. 
So we have to defeat some trolls, defeat infamous foes, and that's it. Trolls and foes, and then we got 100%. Where are we going? We're going to collect some lacewing. Uh, the town is up here. Yeah, this sign was talking about Keenbridge. Isn't there a town in Skyrim called Keenbridge? Oh no, sorry, it's Kindbridge. In, in Skyrim, not Keenbridge. Where's that little goblin guy that sells stuff? He doesn't get around much. He's supposed to be in those places, I think. Oh, that must be for the train. Yeah, obviously, there's a train track on the map. Jeez help if I look at the little mini map so it's gonna be Christmas time for the rest of the, of the game what happens at New Year's do we have a party uh, oh we're going up there anyways doing a lot of conjuration so we'll just get some more moonstone back there's apparently a thing that you can find that like pretty much passively makes you moonstone what is that why is there a rabbit in a cage here beware wolves Are you trying to attract um, attract wolves by having this hair in here? I guess it's a hair, not a rabbit. Well, some people believe hares are not rabbits, and some people believe hares are just a different type of rabbit. Holy, we still haven't been there yet. Butterflies. We didn't follow the butterflies. That's okay. We will follow the butterflies some other time. These wizards just walking around. What are you looking at? Seen anything interesting? beautiful countryside some balloons I have to pop I still have to win that uh, flying race too that's gonna take a while yeah runaway sheep I'll take care of the spiders where are you uh, I want to set you on fire and blow you up Are you dead? You're not. Why are you still moving if you're not dead? Oh, that's not so. My fault you're a deadly great spider. Some moo cows. Oh, there goes the train. Get out of the tree so we can see the train. Ah, we missed it. See that sound? It's is that a page? Some kind of weird bird. That sound was um it sounded like someone like a wizard aspirating in. Well, could be a witch too.
Where is this little visit? They call it a village or a hamlet. Oh, there's an astronomy thing up there. Oh, here we are. You have a gate? The town has a gate? Why do I need... Ah, for that chest up there, that's why. Whoa, 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 why are you going like that? <laughs> okay. You need to go over a bit. Yeah, stay there. Why are you flipping around so much? Ooh, a honey brown wand. Level two lock. We can do level two. We need, um, I think three more demiguys. Three more demiguys to get level three. And then we have to remember where all the level threes were. Oh, look at this big chest. Unidentified cloak. A letter from Helen Thistlewood to her brother Eddie. My dearest Eddie, I was so pleased to receive your letter. It has been long. It has been too long since I've been home. You may be interested to know that my time with the ministry will soon come to an end. It seems they forced me into an early retirement, and there's not much I can do to change their minds. No matter. In all my years as an oar, I have seen over and over again how those at the top are more interested in preserving their place than in actual serving those about them. Hmm. But that's enough of that. There will be time enough to tell you the tales of my life out here in the great big world when we meet again. You're happy to know that I'm coming home soon, although I'm thinking of settling in Upper Hogsfield upon my return, still nearby. I intend to enjoy the time I have left. There are still mysteries to solve after all. Ever your sister, Helen Thistlewood, London. Oh, your sister was an oar, huh? You got a nice little cottage here. Shouldn't leave galleons lying around because someone will just come in and take them. Let's buy the. Oh, it's candy. Levitation candy. Uh, nice little uh, desk of books, but you're missing a chair. What's with all the bottles, Eddie? Huh? Getting lonely out here all by yourself? Are you a merchant? You look like a Might merchant. Have time to help with an urgent delivery? Oh, you're Eddie. I just ransacked your house, Eddie. You sound as if you could use some help. Oh, yes, I could. Eddie Thistlewood's the name. A dear friend of mine in Feldcroft is at his wit's end due to the relentless attacks on his hamlet by Ranrock and his loyalists. I sent two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages to help, but they've gone missing. Mm-hmm. Good idea. Those cabbages are nothing to be trifled with. My thoughts precisely. You see, I'm no plant, and I believe the goblins will be so irritated by the onslaught of ferocious vegetation, they'll simply leave Feldcroft alone. I wonder if you might track the two crates down and deliver their contents to my friend Bernard Indiai. 
I simply can't leave my shop at present. India. Why would the goblins target Feldcroft? My friend Bernard says they've been seen in the area for a while. He seems to think they're looking for something, but lately they've become more aggressive. Apparently we're supposed to come here first before Feldcroft. Hmm. Could you not grow or buy more Chinese chomping cabbages? I suppose I could, but that would take time. Time we do not have, what with Ranrock's thugs posing new threats every day. Besides, it's the principle of the matter. I grew those cabbages and they are extraordinary. I grow them too. Any idea where I might find the crates? Yes. From what I hear, one was spotted south of Feldcroft. The other, so I hear, is south of Brockborough near the river. Why are you smiling like that, Taro? Very well, sir. I shall keep an eye out for two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. Oh, thank you. I shall let Bernard know he might be receiving those cabbages after all. What do you have for sale? I'm convinced that Feldcroft will be much safer with Chinese chomping cabbages defending them. I can't buy any like more Feldcroft's though. In trouble. Perhaps I should try to Yeah. Help. Can't buy any more. I can sell you stuff though. I'll be able to put that to good use. Ooh, 102 and that's a trait slot 3. I'm going to keep that one. As I can upgrade it. That's a trait slot 2, so that's no good. No. Defense is down, no good. Uh, 87 is up, but it's a trait slot too, so that's no good. And I'll keep those two to identify them. I got over 6,000 galleons. Nice. Thank you. I hope to see you again soon. I can, uh... Okay, did you just change my my quest? Hmm, what one was I doing now? The curse thing, right? Yeah, beating a curse. Because <laughs> his feet beats now. <laughs> I'll get your cabbage afterwards. Thank you. I like the fact that the sound is in stereo. Mind now, Demi guys. Aha. Hello, Hamora. This is where you're hiding. Okay, I just went. Okay, there it goes. I can say I went all the way around. You should be right there. And it's nighttime too, so I can get the demi guys right away. There you are on the floor. That's eleven. Oh, I got some bees. Yeah, eleven. I think I needed thirteen. How many did I need for that quest? Thirteen. Okay, I need two more. A nice little cottage. Mixed nuts. <gasps> Are those cookies? Oh, hello. Don't mind me ramsacking your place, do you? Uh, 
Okay. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. At first, I thought that kid was white and the man was black. Wearing clothes and stuff looked really weird, but no, the kid's black too. It's a nice little cottage, but you need some entertainment. At least tell the kid a story or something. Holy. There's lots of books in next door. Borrow a book from them. Read a book. And just sit there or pl play ball with them. This is a... Oh, leeches. There's a diving spot. And a treasure. Is this going to take me to the treasure thing? Blue leather gauze. There's a treasure thing over here. Come on, swim faster. Cheers. I thought that was a stone, but no, it's a, it's a sh sheep. Huh? Lumos. There must be a cave or something to lead to that treasure. Oh, but there's a. That's the chest you were talking about? There's one of these magic ball things here. What do we need this for in here? Aha! A tomb. So we need that magic dice thing for this. I thought I just picked you. Oh, no. Got it. Whoa, you're heavy. You're really heavy. Holy smokes. Hey. What happened to it? What the? You gonna stay there now? Mmm. Tricky. 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 Is that not the one? That's weird. Nothing's happening. Oh, there it goes. Why are you not activating? Hmm. That's strange. Normally that thing activates it.
But now it came back, so it must not be for that one. Is there another one around? What's up here? Some moonstone, some cows, and some balloons. What's wrong, Alexandra? Is everything all right? If the Hamlet sent you here to talk to me about, about, I know what I have to do. It's not every day a girl has to put down her own troll. I should be Aww. able to work up to it. What do you mean your own troll? I thought that's why you were here. I'm sorry. Uh, I suppose if you spend enough time with trolls, you forget your manners. I'm Alexandra. I didn't mean to be short with you. With Ranrock's lot seemingly everywhere, I thought the Hamlet could use a bit more security. <sighs> but my plan has gone awry. I apologized when he almost trampled half the Hamlet yesterday. He just needs more time. But everyone wants him gone. They think it's mad, my training a troll. Impossible, even. Uh... Can you train me to train a troll? It certainly takes a lot of courage to try. I'll give you that. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. I wish others felt the same. But I suppose I understand why everyone's been so concerned. What made me think I could train him? I should have learned from Barnabas the Barmy. But he's my troll and my problem. I'll be honest. I'm afraid I won't be able to take care of him. He's stronger than any troll I've ever encountered. I wish I knew someone else who could do it. I'll take him. What exactly were you training the troll to do? I was hoping to train him to serve as protection for us. Frankly, I struggled to teach him even a word or two. Couldn't give him even a semblance of self-control. I have, like... A huge magical place for him to live if he wants. Who's Barnabas the Balmy? Surely you've seen the tapestry of him at Hogwarts. It hangs in the seventh floor corridor. He allegedly tried to train trolls for the ballet. You can imagine how that turned out. Actually, I think I have seen that tapestry. I'm not thrilled at the prospect, but I'll consider it. Oh, no. I didn't mean to suggest that you should do it. In fact, you should avoid the area just southwest of here. At least until I work up the courage to do what needs to be done. Uh, no. I want to have my own troll. A troll on the loose near a hamlet. That could be devastating. But I want to train him. Um, lady, do you mind if I go in your house? I just need to check stuff. Plus, I'm hungry. Oh, see, you've got a nice little setup with your your kitchen table. Oh, are these levitating candies? Oh, geez. look at all the sweets. Reading, writing desk. You even have a stool to go with it. Where to go? Hmm. It's a little small for my liking, but it's nice. I don't like mirrors. Get rid of that. Oh, you play the... What's it called? Harpsichord? You could... Um, do something else with your little round alcove here. but Nice statue or something. That's a nice area up there. Uh, needs a rope ladder, maybe a nice big chair so you can do your reading. Like the chair I'm stuck on, but bigger. It's quite nice. Um, 
I want a troll of my own. Can we get the troll? How do we? We don't have to kill the troll, do we? That's not nice. Let's have the the troll of our own. That'd be cool. Another merchant. What kind of bird was that? Let's check outside first. Mm, some hay for your one chicken? Yeah, only one chicken. Oh no, your other chicken's out here. What's that? Ah, that's the Merlin thing. Okay. Who's in here? What's with the spittoons everywhere, buddies? Oh. another one that hanging rags and pelts an arrow brown arrow hmm. he's stuck can't go that way ooh muffins Nice horned helm on there with the crab arms. It's a nice little place. Well, hello. Was that your house that I just went through? Okay, before we end here let's go check out this troll maybe we can have our own troll uh, 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 why can't we get up at least let us talk to him let's just not kill him we can find him a nice place to live Dispatch Alexandra's troll. Come on. I take it you're Alexandra's friend. Where is he? You're not even gonna talk to him. Nothing. Let us. Oh, did you kill that cow? Come on. Let us talk to him. Oh. Ow. We have to wait till he bangs it the uh... oops there now we can flip endo oh it didn't work I guess we have to do it right after he does it Come on, slam your thing. Oh. Slam your club down, buddy. Oh, you hit me. Slam your club down. Sl 
slam your club on the ground. That's it. There we go. Ooh. You got a little too close there, buddy. Ah, uh, you can't move because there's a cow in the way. Oh. Now you can move. <laughs> Why is it not catching the rocks? Oh. That didn't work. That didn't work either. That worked. Ow! We should have been able to talk to it at least. It was a special troll. Did she build it a house? Oh, no way. Etiquette may have been too ambitious a start. It seems we must first cover the fundamentals of not smashing. We'll keep this in mind but proceed to week two. Still vicious. Week two, only produce a string of grunts, still vicious. Week three, he has the right temperament for it, but lashes out indiscriminately, somehow more vicious. Hmm. Troll lesson plan. Week one, <clears throat> social graces and etiquette. Please, thank you, pardon me, sorry. I'm losing my voice. Week two, allocution. <laughs> The witch went flying for the snitch and fell in a ditch. Week three, security training. Oh, Alexander, come on. It's a troll. You're just going. It's a nice little house. You're growing way too fast for a troll. But I wish it was made into the game so that you can at least talk to him. Anything above here? Definitely looks like there's something up here. There's something over there for sure. Oh, no. This looks like, uh, hmm, I'm not sure if I like this look of this thing here. Let's 
So you can't pull it? Can you push it? Oh, that one. Hmm. I would have thought for sure you could pull those things. Glad I was never locked up here. Did that just move? The Did you say something about locked up here? Hmm. Oh, maybe these things. There's no symbol on them. Maybe this thing moves it. It's obviously pulled with these. these symbols to match those ones is there something to set on top of there Interesting puzzle. Oh, but look, there's these dark lines pointing to the sun and whatever that thing is. Here's the sun. Oh, here's a sad looking place. Akio. Whoa, what was that? You see that? It shoots it over there. Is it because I was hitting that? Maybe I have to hit that. Well, that one's still going now. It's interesting. Hit that thing. It stopped. No, hit the circle. That one glows yellow, and that one glows blue. Maybe. Let me 
now it's blue. And now it's yellow. Now it's blue again. That's weird. Hmm. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Oh, is this the one? Is this that symbol? Nope. This is the symbol here. Stone walls do a prison make sometimes. Accio. The Gilded Perch. Interesting. Well, I don't know what to do. And we're like way over time anyways, so. There's obviously something. It has to do with those two symbols for sure. Because black lines and stuff. It's the only clues other than. These things that pull them. That is what those things are for. To pull. That's what we've always done, but let's go back to Alexandra and then we'll give her the sad news about her troll and we will end the episode there after we sadly tell her what's going on. We'll get a nice view of the little hamlet. Uh, sorry, but I didn't. It's done, Alexandra. I took care of him. My troll? What? Oh, I don't know what to say. Thank you. I wish things could have turned out differently for him. Should I tell her that the training plan was doomed? Because goblins control trolls, but they have the uh, the magic rings around their necks and stuff. I don't think she'll be able to do it, especially with her plan. Any plan you had to train that thing was doomed. He tried to kill me the entire time. Goodness. I'm glad you're all right. You're very brave. People in the hamlet had already crafted a moniker for whoever eventually defeated my... I mean, that troll. It was trolls. Something or other. Not Whisper, and I don't want to slay it. How about Troll Vanish Vanquisher? Vanquisher? Yes, that was it. 
I suppose it's your title now. I need some time on my own. But truly, thank you for what you did. The Troll Vanquisher. <laughs> suppose I did earn the title. Just don't try to do it anymore. What are you looking at? Are you sweet on Alexandria? Well, go ask her for a date, man. She's not doing anything. She don't have any trolls anymore. She's not going to hurt you. Is that... That's the house that we were in, right? Yeah, with the chickens. Okay, so when we come back, we'll... Oh no. That's the same guy, isn't it? Did you deliver the Chinese chomping cabbages to my friend Bernard yeah. yet? What? There's only four houses in this place? Okay. Dude, please tell me that is not a book on how to train trolls. Do not do anything stupid like try and follow Alexander's example. He looks too confident walking over that book. Mm -mm. Don't do it. I hope you'll come back next time. And we'll see what kind of trouble we get into. I'll see you later. Bye.